marry him. Okay, I'm starting. Great. Uh, Alright, so... somewhere. Oh, it's probably a script, actually. Yeah, this is the front end script. Okay, so I've got a problem where I have these buttons that are becoming is clicked, um, but I, I'm having, like, more than one button on the is clicked status. So I have to think for a minute. Um, I've got these, so, let me draw this out um, with MS Paint, because it's just so goddamn easy and simple. Um, let's do this. Well, we got that there, that there, and I don't know. This right here. And let's do one more. Just, just all right. Um, we'll we'll call this one like new game. Um, choose ship. Um, I. Don't know some other some other thing like uh, <sighs> choose port. There we go. We'll do that. Choose port, and then um, finally start game. And um, these have booleans um, where like is click. which in turn, you know, um, moves the camera over here. This, though, is still true. And so that's why I think when I tried to go back, I couldn't, because you go back, but then this thing says, well, it's still true, so let's go back over here. So I think what I need to do Let me think for a minute. Uh, let me make sure nobody's in, nobody's in chat. Okay. Um, 
so I think what I should probably do is I should probably make it so that the camera Okay, well something something should turn this thing back to not clicked anymore once it reaches. Like there should oh there should only be one Hold on a second, let me think. So once I've clicked here, I'm actually over here and I haven't clicked on this thing yet. If I hit go back. If I hit go back, this thing should not be clicked anymore, and this thing should be clicked. I'm going to make myself some coffee one second here. So this is why we're, we're going to be using the DS stack. So every time we click a button, we add that button to um, So every time, let's do this color too, should we go back to white? All right, so every time that we click a new button, we should add, <laughs> we should add that whatever, uh, we should add that button to a stack. Um, that's not the right symbol. Alright, so we, we add that button to a stack. Um, and then when we click on that, we're adding that button to the stack. And then when we click on this, I suppose I should probably um, point out I'm adding this one to the stack, that one to the stack, and then I'm, now I've clicked on this one. Oh, we've moved here, and I'm adding this button to the stack. And you get the idea. So. When I hit the go back button, I have to take one away from the stack, but no, I, I, I 
I've got this wrong. Um, okay, so it's yeah. This isn't the right way of thinking about it. I need to. Uh, I guess it's not really the buttons that I'm putting in the stack, it's the states. So really I just need to make sure that I'm that only one button is clicked. Okay. Let's not save that. Um using DS stack to prevent memory leaks. Okay, so that still applies, just like with any data structure. All right, uh, that's fine. So, yeah, DS stack create. Um, so an instance variable stack. Okay, um, yeah, that's fine. 
So, what's the, uh, not size, top, pop, push. I'm thinking it's push, let's just double check. So, DS stack push. This function will push, add a value, which can either be, which could be either a real or a string onto the top of the stack. The function can take a further 14 optional arguments permitting you to push multiple values consecutively to the stack in a single call. All right, so um, let's go back to our workspace. Um, so I need to move this down. Push adds data, pop removes. Got it, okay. Thought so wasn't 100%. Okay, um, right, so doesn't need to be, but stacks themselves are designed so you only have access to the data on the top. Basically, there's that place, yeah, okay. Whoops, uh, okay, so, um, so we've got a global state stack on the game state create. And when we click on our buttons, they should throw the state into this stack and then change the state. This thing, when is constantly in the step event, evaluating what state global.gameState is in, uh, and then running code accordingly. Most of the time it's just SCR front end, uh, but sometimes it's SCR game start. And I'm kind of, there's something broken about this that I haven't fixed yet, but. Um, okay, so let's. Stack. All right. So when our buttons get clicked, that's what change, changes things. So um, this is our new game, which I'm pretty sure is invoked by object new game. I need to buttons. Button new game. SCR new game. Okay. I need to invoke by uh, OBJ button. There we go. Um, global dot game state is clicked equals true. Global dot game state. Um, you know what I think I'll do is, I think I'm going to do this with OBJ button parent, parent button. So all of our buttons, we're going to say is clicks equals false. Um, and then this button here. This button that we clicked on is true. The game state's going to change to game state dot new game screen. What was the state before? Um, what's the state before new game screen? Title screen. Okay. So I need to put title screen in the stack. I think. Okay, so DS, no, 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 no. Yeah, do I just, I straight up just call the function, right? DS stack push g dot uh, state stack. Okay. 
dot title screen. And I think, I mean, OBJ button new game is only in one spot in the whole entire game, and that's the title screen of the game. So I think this will always be true in every possible condition of things. Huh. Um, one second, guys.
is clicked equals false. But this button is clicked is true. Um, so that's good. Uh, what, sorry, for new game. All right, game state, new, new game screen. And title screen. So we need to now change our global game state. Um, choose both screens. So G dot. Got, no, no, is it? It's not a global. Yeah, game state dot new game screen. So game state dot choose boat screen. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, we need to update our stack. So DS stack push uh, g dot state stack. And we're gonna put game state dot uh, new game screen. Yeah. I should probably change the name of this from new game screen to like choose character screen, but. Nah, I'm not doing that for now. Um, most programs release their memory on a proper close to, but sometimes it's beneficial to delete resources that won't need any longer. Doesn't close properly in memory is free, like does GMS do garbage collection? Um probably not, based on the fact that we have to manually destroy stuff. Click is true. Uh, right, so. Yeah, okay, I think. Oh, wait a minute. I'm so dumb. Uh, I'm having two different objects. Yeah, okay. My bad. I shouldn't even be changing the game states and the buttons. That's... Oof. Okay. Glad I realized that. So I don't need to do this. I just need to do that. Uh, so I had some redundancy here. Okay. Um, Alright, so this one... Everything else is clicked as false. This one is quite this true. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We're good. We're good. Um, choose boat screen. Um, what's my? I don't have a button now. Okay. After that. Uh, that's fine. We've got, I guess, two possible things <coughs> that can enter the stack. Um, so now it's time for the go back button to get its script. So let's look at the go back. Uh, let's look at go back button here. Um, 
current button. I don't think we really need this anymore, in theory. Um, yeah. We don't even need this event anymore. Um, and what we're doing is... I deleted everything in here previously. Okay, so now when we go back, first, uh, invoked by OBJ, go back, button. Okay, so we've clicked on the go back button. All right, with So, I can make it so that everything is no longer is clicked, all of the parent buttons, but there's a problem with that. Um, is clicked equals false. I'm putting the state in the stack, not the buttons themselves or their click statuses in the stack. Um, this is a weird situation where I could have a button that's not clicked, but I'm residing in a certain moment in the state. So I guess I could run a switch case. God, that sounds, that seems like that would be a bad idea. Yay, birthdays. People have birthdays. Uh, thanks, Facebook. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, I'm not sure on that front. Truth be told, one thing I do have to say, though, is I shouldn't need the is press booleans in e anymore. You just enqueue the state being added and peek at the top to call the appropriate function. You just queue the state being added and peek at the top to call the appropriate function. That way, when you pop the data, it will just peek at the... Oh shit, dog! Wow, you just blew my mind. Um, I basically read your last two uh, messages here right after I puzzled over the problem you described. No, the, uh, the problem was basically. Um, Right, so what he's saying here is that um, the front end code, uh, the front end script, doesn't look at the clicked statuses of the buttons. And I guess is clicked is completely obsolete now. Uh, but instead, it just looks at the top state, like, or the, the top of the stack, uh, which should always be. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm adding stuff to the stack late, like one step behind. And I should be proactively adding stuff to the stack. Um, I like that approach because I think this that'll also result in fewer lines of code. So, uh, but we do have to change um, damn near everything. So let's uh, go back to SCR New Game. 
gods. Uh, Alright, we're gonna just do this. So. Hold on a second, let me think of this. Uh, game start. SCR game start. Yeah, alright. Alright. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. Alright, this is the, the first state that we're in. So, um, if these two things are true, that means we're done and we need to do a DS stack push. So let's uh, DS stack push uh, G dots state stack uh, game state uh, dot title screen. Cool. Do that. any key, go to the title screen. I should also do a mouse left click check, actually. Let's do that. Uh, mouse check button uh, DK and B. Oh, is it MB? MB left. Again, we're only putting one, one line of code, but later on we'll probably have a bunch of other shit happening. Um, yeah, all these, all these things. Okay. Cool. So the game start script, we're good. Um, now we're in SCR front end. And the only thing that SCR front end needs to do is look at the top of the stack. So, I guess global dot, no, G, G dot, G dot game state. Yeah, uh, that's right, game state uh, equals DS stack top. There you are. Uh, G dot state stack. Let me just middle. Let me just read this thing. Returns a real or string. The ID of the data structure to read from. This function will read will only only read the first value of the stack, that which is on top. It will not pop the value, meaning that it can still be read in the future by this function in the DS stack box. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. So. Going back here. Oh, I need to write down. Uh, invoked by. I'm trying to clean up my code here, and make things easier for me to, you know, keep track of shit. So this thing is invoked by the. Is it game states? No. It's invoked by camera controller. Which one? See? I keep forgetting. Um, it's 
it's not an object on a camera. Yeah, it's... Yeah! No. Such a cool game state. Well... Oh, no, uh, SCR front end... It is... It is here, right? Yeah, 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 okay. So, OBJ game states. All right, so invoked by OBJ game states. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, G.game state, DS stack time, blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. So once we're in the front end, we're constantly looking at the top of the, the pot. Top of the, the tip of the top. Um, all right, so. That's done, but now we need to edit our SCR new game. All right, so we don't need that button as quick crap anymore. Uh, all we need to do is push. And what we're gonna push, yep. Uh, but we're not going to the title screen. We're going to the, what is it, the new game screen? So, that's a bad name for that. I guess that's it. I guess I'm done. Uh, and then choose boat screen. Let's go there. Um, okay, we don't need that crap. We don't need that. Uh, and we're just going to push to the Okay, that's done. Um, and now our SCR go back. So we don't need this anymore. And at this point, I think the only thing this does is DS stack. G dot state stack. This function will pop the top value off of the DS stack, removing it from the stack and returning the value to be stored in a variable. Weird. Um, the above code checks to see if it's empty, and if it's not, it pops the two top two values from the stack and uses them to set a direction. Uh, it sounds like I don't. scenario. But I do want to, you know, hmm, this is weird. All right, well, we should have that safety mint. I don't think we'll ever need it, but um, in the interest of uh, writing good code, so DS stack empty. Uh, so how do we, if not DS stack, all right, so if not ds stack empty g dot state stack uh, theoretically it should never be empty really because the very first screen of the game will populate it once that animation is complete But, you know, you never know. Um, huh, I don't know if I'm allowed... Alright, so hold on. Yeah, I noticed that 
I noticed you wanted to use a switch and thought that you might be going over it the wrong way, lol. Yeah, basically using booleans becomes redundant because the top of your stack basically will be the same as if that was the only state with its is clicked variable as true. As long as you push the current state being added and read the state based on top of the stack. Also, you might want to double check that your stack is created before you try pushing things into it. Just double check that because I don't recall where you created it and that object may not exist until after you're trying to push data into it. Also another thing to note is that whatever code is being called when you press the buttons, that is where you want to push the state code in case that's, yeah, no, we're, we're doing that. Um, I'm gonna take this next question into hashtag help. Uh, Do I like can that line of code exist without variable assignment? Like okay. Okay, cool. So if I don't variable assign it just says, all right, well, I guess by a uh, top variable. Um, hmm. I'm pretty dang sure, yeah, state, static, yeah, yeah. This thing exists in the create event of my game state object. So, it's always going to exist. Alright, let's see if this runs. I'm pretty sure it will run, actually, but it's... I don't know, I could have fucked up. <coughs> Alright, game by, yeah, 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 who cares. Oh, my left click thing isn't working, though. That sucks. Oh, shit, the camera didn't move. Hold on, let's try, let's try this again. Um... That's weird. Space bar didn't work either. Nah, uh, something's up. Um, yeah, SCR front end, and then an SCR front end. Right, game state equals whatever's on top. And so the camera controller says, title screen, am I ever pushing to that? Um, I should be. Uh, SCR game start title screen. That's weird, it's not working. Uh, what you pop can be stored for later is basically the gist. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's I'm going to add a draw movie event. Draw 
gooey. Let me just make sure I got the chocolate gooey in there right though. Search. Drago event types, I don't know that. Huh, okay. The Drago. Uh, when drawing in these events, it's important that you understand that the draw coordinate coordinates do not change when the views are active and zero zero is always the top left hand corner of either the application surface or the display. Um, depth ordering is still maintained between different instances on different layers. Also within the events themselves on the drawing going begin so then drop around. Um, that switch isn't checking the DS stack, it is checking the global variable that stores the state. Uh, So, yeah, if we... No, not that. Uh, camera controller. Right. Okay, it's not checking... the stack. I see what you mean. Uh, okay, so let's go to game states then really quick. Is it game states? No. Is it SCR front end? Yeah, but right here, I've got global.gamestate. And did I type it right? Global.gamestate, yeah, G died. Um, I mean, I can do this, global.gamestate. The macro, I have a macro for global and G. Um, what you pop can be stored for later, yeah, yeah. So if you're only setting variables in the stack, that which, that switch isn't ever going to call the other code. Not from what I saw at least. Is checking the global variable as to state. So my contention is that right here I'm changing the variable to whatever is on the top of the stack, and that's an SCR front end. An SCR front end. Oh, oh shit. SCR front end only does run in the step all the time, but only once we've reached title screen. Only once we've reached title screen. So, wondering if we, I guess, I guess we don't even really need a CR front end. That's a bummer. So I get, uh, all right, all right. So I can take this line of code and put it in here, you know. And that's basically the same. Uh, no, that actually, that's bad. No, no, that's, uh, let me think. What are we putting in here? DS stack create. We're not. And the game state starts out in game start. Okay. So there's. Well, here. Uh, sure, we could do that. Do this. And then the very first thing we push into it. DS stack stack push. State stack. Um, game 
stay dots game start, I guess. We're doing this at the pit in the create. So this only happens once. So here in the switch, or in the step, we're looking at like whatever our global game state says. Go there. And then whatever our global game state is, do these sets of code. Unfortunately, front end is empty now, because. Like, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have reasons. Maybe I'll have stuff in it look for later. I guess. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, okay, you are setting the global. Yeah, so I, I think I'm on the right... I guess I'm on the right track here. I, mm, I sort of obsoleted my entire front-end script. Uh, returns a variable on top, and yes, there's no need to assign a return from a function. Okay. Um, yeah, all right, well, uh, rest in peace, SCR front-end. Uh, oops, I don't need to have that on. Uh, God, I'm almost, I'm kind of nervous actually, but let's run this. Uh-huh. Okay, that worked. That worked. That's weird, that's not my go back button isn't working. Shoot shit, that worked. Go back. Huh, my go back isn't working. Um, but yay, hey, we got, we can make forward progress, just not backward progress. Um, backward progress. Uh, okay, let's go to SCR. So if it's not empty, yes, stack pop. Oh, I forgot. I guess I don't need this anymore. Um, let me make sure this is actually getting clicked on. So show you bug. Go back. It's not even getting this far, so something's up with the actual object, I think. Um, buttons, there you are. Um, my action is here, go back. Oh! It didn't have a step event. I'm gonna give that back. Uh, buttons? Oh no, 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 not. Object, parent button, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's, um. Yeah, skip that. New game. Yeah! Okay, and I bet that's robust as shit. Let's just, uh. Let's just double check. So, new game, go back, new game, go back, new game, choose ship, go back, go back, yeah. Mm. We're officially further than I've ever been before when it comes to this shit. <sighs> what a relief. Now I can finally turn off the camera decal. Um, okay, that's cool. That's, well, yeah. Okay, we're good. Cool. Awesome. Hey, thanks, man. Um, yeah, that's rad. So, cool. I got it. 
I'm gonna add a little. Oh. Okay. Uh, we'll do it in here. Uh, pardon? Pardon? There's like a. Confetti ball. Okay, so, uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, feeling pretty good about that one. Let's look at our room. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, so. The next thing I want to do is kind of, um, aesthetics. Uh, I need to make it so that these things have shadows. Uh, well, that's an entirely different uh, changing gears entirely. Diff uh, uh, let's see here. So I want to mimic how we're doing it here, where we're drawing a shadow. Um, Let's do it. Uh, okay, so in the create my card instance nearest OBJ my card. So we're gonna copy this. This captain equals an all. Oh right. Invoked by OBJ card. Step event. Um, we're doing things, yeah, mm, I wish I were a more consistent programmer, um, but what else, anyways, so my card, instance nearest, OBJ my card, you may be wondering why, Cassidy, why, why are you, why not just have this thing be a child of this thing or whatever, and, and the answer is because their um, saving methods are entirely different like so radically different that like I'm using a 1D array and filling it and then yeah um, it's because it's just too no 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 it's just too different um so let's copy this line bring it over here put it over there but not obj card we want obj Card. Um, okay, and then is it the step or is it the draw? It's, it is the draw. So if my card, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Then let's cut this. And then little ship picker. Yeah. Draw event. Do you not have the same 
you've got is high, you've got is selected. Um, hold on a second here. Yeah, my card. OBJ card ship. OBJ card ship has the is hot is selected just like your OBJ card does. Let me see that error message again. Not set before reading it. Oh, and it's in the draw. Let's go over here. 
Visible? No. Um, get off the screen. All right. Uh, oh man. So, OVJ button new game. We can close that. We can close this. What, what else do we got? We got all this stuff going on here. Parent button. It's fine. OVJ. Parent button. We we actually we should close that. Okay, here's that ship, that ship. Yeah, we got our ships here. And then card ship. So there's a couple things we need to do then. So, um, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, so this thing, it's, it's moving. All right, um, I, I already updated this. Yep. Yep. It's solved for now. Not sure I'm... Not sure how I feel about simply delaying a bar assignment. Oh well. Um, okay, so, uh, I already fixed, I already solved this problem in here, OBJ card. Um, so, yeah, all right, so, uh, yeah, let's do this. We'll go here, copy all that, and then go to OBJ card chip. I'm gonna put this in here, bar, my collider. Here, instead of position me, we write uh, bar my collider is not equal to no one. So we have some, and we hit something, but these dimensions might not be right or accurate, but let's just double, let's just uh, check. New game, choose ship. Yeah, it's, as you can see, it's not, that's not quite accurate. So, also, I need to make these cards a little bit bigger, I guess. It's just kind of bumming me out. Or the ship's smaller. Mm, let's make them a little bit bigger. This is gonna be. Uh, I, don't, I could do it in code, or I could do it in the sprite. I should probably just do it with the sprite. Well, the only other option is to not use instance nearest to assign in the create event and rather select a default or dummy object so you don't try to access unassigned variables. Yeah, so I put no one in the, ouch. Uh, so I put no one in the create, and then I can put um, my card in the step, or like the instant, I, and then call instance nearest in the step. Uh, I, su I suppose you all wrap it in and check against no one. Uh, Hmm. 
Okay, I got an idea. So that you don't check against the variable stored in your ship instance before it is actually assigned value. I got an idea. Let's do this. Um, so in the create, oops, uh, for I guess all ship picker. Um, so my card will equal no one. No one. <sighs> and then, Then we can put this doesn't have a step in that. Uh well whatever. Step. And we can put this in the step. I mean it's not like they're not really gonna physically move, or at least not dramatically, so I don't think that'll be a problem. And that way we can delete this rather exotic event. Um, I think that'll run. Let's uh, let's give that a go. Mm. Yep, runs. Um, yeah, and we have no problems. Okay, so now I just need to make probably resize these assets a little bit. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's jump into object card ship. No, no, I'm sorry. Sprite. Uh, ship card. We need to scale this image. Yeah, none. All right, so Let's go with the width of, um, hmm. we're at 96 now, and that's just a wee bit too, we, we don't need much, let's, uh, I, I like keeping it in, um, base two, but it's the next step up from 96 is like 128, um, If we were to just add 16, that would be to one, 112, which I, I haven't really heard of. Um, screw it. Uh, there might be some weird, I don't know. Well, oh, it's maintaining the aspect ratio. Okay, 108. What's, what's that give me? 72. That's, I can live with that. Let's do that. 108, 72. Okay. So now if we go to the room, yeah, these are a little bit bigger now. They're not even. Um, let me just... Come on. Not you. You. I think that's right. All right. Okay, so now they have some space. Good, they've got some space. So let's, um... Okay. Uh, I need to be able to see. All right. <sighs> Man. Mm. So now that we've done that, oh right, we need to fix this. Uh, minus. Let's just bump it up to fifty across. Each direction. Mm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh huh. Yep. Go. Say. That's good. That's good. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Um, maybe a little shorter. Okay. Yeah, a little shorter. But the width, the width's good. All right, so shorter means bumping that down. Maybe thirty-five. Okay, and then... Oh, this thing is jumping too much. Let's do just like three. Alright, we're gonna... We need to... Our shadows are like jumping too much, or like are way too deep. We need to make them more shallow. Um, draw, yeah, not five. Let's do three. Okay, there we go. Let's give this a look. Yeah, okay. Sure, that's that's probably fine. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I've been streaming for over an hour now. Let's I'm gonna take a break. Um, thanks, man. Thanks. Be back later.